Ma'am, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, question for you, because uh, I think you deal with the kidney patients uh, day in and day out. Yeah. Uh, what's your go-to uh, nutritional uh, supplement? Oh, because you are very conscious of protein. Like most of your patients are uh, renal compromised. So what would be your go-to in terms of formulating a diet for your kidney, for your patients at any Actually, uh, we have uh, stages in uh, kidney disease. Those on uh, conservative management, uh, we really don't bother much about the protein uh, supplementation aspect unless they are grossly deficient in it. But when it comes to dialysis patients, both you know hemodialysis patients and uh, peritoneal dialysis patients, they have to up their protein intake. It's not just uh, you know during the small hospital stay, but throughout you know for life almost. So we look at a protein supplement which can give them uh, an instant um, absorption, like a whey protein a supplement which will have good amount of whey protein. And also, uh, in the past, I have used protein powders which the patients are advised to take during the night time, bedtime. And there are some formulations available which have a combination of whey and casein. So I advise that during the uh, bedtime on a regular basis. But then uh, when we talk about uh, supplementation, it's not everybody who can get supplements because uh, the cost involved, everything matters. So uh, most of the time we try to do the diets with uh, you know high protein uh, regular food like egg whites and uh, paneer and uh, tofu. Uh, working out the phosphorus and potassium contents definitely. So that way egg whites uh, come uh, really uh, helpful. There would be uh, two, three points to consider uh, regarding these three types of proteins, whey, um, whey plus casein or sometimes you have, uh, you know, whey and the soy isolate or the only, only the pea proteins. The problem here is most of the CKD patients also have gut dysbiosis, a lot of gut dys dysbiosis. So uh, we have to look at the, you know, uh, the absorption uh, and the bioavailability. So my first go-to protein would be a whey protein. Uh, also, they, uh, most of the patients get the, you know, the value for money over there, basically. So when they take uh, whey proteins, so that would be the go-to. Especially, you should see the dialysis patients after a dialysis session; they get so cheesed they off, they are so tired. That is when the whey protein really works. Also, uh, we make a blend of plant proteins in the hospital and offer it as a drink during dialysis session. Uh, though it is not actually a processed product, it comes from the real food food sources. That kind of buffers them for some time.